Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Tuesday evening drive. So hopefully the light is a little better. I got it over to the side. I don't know, last week we had the dark beard going. You know, I've had the, the sun beard. Now we've had the dark beard. I have no idea what it looks like right now. I'm not using the front facing camera. So we will see, we'll see. Eventually we'll get a system going because it's like, it's pitch black outside. It's 6.30, it's pitch black outside, so we gotta, we gotta let you see my face somehow. Okay, I'm gonna be driving slow, because the roads are horrible. I'm on my way home from going out to do something for my work, and it took a long time, and I usually get out of work at 5, and here it is 6.30, and I'm still driving in the horrible weather. <laughs> but you do what you got to do. You do what they tell you to do. They being powers that be. Powers that be being your bosses and the company you work for. Anyway, guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying warm. People who live in the warm areas of the, the globe... I congratulate you and I envy you. And it must be nice to be in a warm place. I like warmth. I hate cold. Cold hurts. It's winter and it's cold. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> so guys, real quick, before we get into the questions, I just want to let you guys know what's going on. We're getting back into the Hermitcraft groove, which is great. I'm loving it. You guys seem to be loving it. And that's great. Abba Caving Tournament. Let's talk about that for a minute. I... I did my round. I did my match. I faced Slipgator. And you'd probably like to know what happened. Well, you will find out what happened on Friday. Tomorrow, I think... I'll have my video up for showing just, you know, my preparations for the tournament and Friday will be the actual match. So you guys will get to see that. I'm keeping it a secret until you guys see the result. So that's what to expect. Yeah, that's basically it. If you guys are new to the channel, I know we have a lot of new people. If you're checking this out for the first time, what I usually do is on Tuesdays, I'll send out a tweet on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, and I say, what do you guys want me to talk about in the video? You guys send in your tweets. I usually take five. This week I took six. It was another great question week, and the roads are bad, so I have a little bit more time, so we'll, we'll give it a go. First question was from Chris E., and he was just saying that I should talk about, what was it? Crap, what was it? Um, I'm mixing his question up with somebody else. I get it, I get it. Oh, yeah, he said, talk about how much work you put into your videos. That's a cool topic. I put, the short answer is, I put as much work as possible into my videos. And I, I do as much as I can in the little time that I have. If I had a lot more time, if I didn't have a full-time job, if I had plenty of time to work on YouTube, there are so many more things that I would do that I would that I would uh, be able to incorporate in my videos, but the problem is I don't have all that time that I was just talking about about five seconds ago. I don't have that time, and because of that, like I said, I do the best I can with the time that I have. So with a Tuesday evening drive, I don't really have an intro, I don't really put up a custom thumbnail. Whoa, slipping. Man, the roads are bad. So, I pretty much just record the video, upload that, put in the description, title, all that kind of thing. 
because usually on Tuesdays I gotta get home, eat something, put up the video and go. With my other videos I have more time, so like with the Hermitcraft, I go through, I make sure all the audio levels are good, especially if I do a collaboration, make sure one person's not too much louder than the other, make sure it's not clipping too much with the audio, make sure everything looks good, timing is perfect, make a custom thumbnail, try to think of a creative title, and put in some annotations, and by the time the video is up, there's a lot of work that goes into it. And But like I said, I'd love to do more, but if I were to do more, you guys would not be getting many videos from me. So, there's a balance. I just figure it's better to have more videos than to, you know, put more time into it, but have very, very, very few videos. Because, like, with Hermitcraft, there's kind of a... You know, an ongoing storyline that's going on, and if it's just too far in between, you kind of just get lost in it, if that makes sense. Well, I hope that answers your question, man. Our second question comes from somebody whose name sounds familiar, but it's a little strange. A Yule Get. It sounds like someone else I know, but he's uh, some Christmas guy. He just said, um, Talk about how your how my girlfriend thinks your brother looks like Kramer from Seinfeld. And if you think so. I don't think he looks like Kramer from Seinfeld. But you may or may not know the joke where he was in high school and his hair used to be puffy and, and my parents made fun of him and said he looked like Kramer or something. So that might be what you're referring to. I personally don't think he looks like him. But it's funny, and if he watched this video, he gonna be mad. Man, I'm on the highway, and usually the highway roads are pretty good, but man, this is slippery. Woo, we're gonna have to take our time. Holy moly. Um, but anyway, guys, next question was, oh boy, wow, this is really slippery. We're going to have to pause it, guys. I'll be back in just a minute. Just kidding. I made it, guys. Man, that that was probably the worst driving experience I've had on slippery roads. If not the worst, it was close. It was bad. But the show must go on. we got to get through the questions. So... I couldn't, I couldn't get the recording going again. It was just too slippery. So I just had to finish it here at the house. So we left it off at another person who sounded familiar. But, yeah, I'll let you decide. His Twitter name was Ellie Toymaker. And it sounds like someone I know, but could just be some guy. Anyway, he just said, what do you like most about winter? And what do you dislike most about winter? What what do you like and dislike about winter? So, when I think about winter, I think beautiful snow, icy cold, slippery roads. But yeah, so these are these are some of the things that I think about, and I love the thing. The main thing I like about the winter is the snow is beautiful it looks great outside of that it's just really cold and the roads are slippery and you gotta shovel snow Ellie was saying what do you think about making shoveling snow an Olympic sport I like that idea that's a pretty good idea we'll do that I'll make sure it happens I have connections Feel so stupid. You could read my bluff. Anyway, when you're a kid, snow's great. You can do snowball fights. I think I mentioned this before. You can do snowball fights. You can sled and do fun things. Build a fort. When you're when you're grown up, you don't really do those things so much. You your your extent of playing the snow is shoveling the snow out of the driveway. 
So it's just tough. I don't really like being cold. So that's hard. But I have an automatic starter for my car, so I use that almost every time I get in the car. That is great. You leave a building, you leave a nice warm building, you go out in the cold for like two minutes, walk in the car, wake, walk into a nice warm car, it's amazing. Okay, next question. It was from OK Crystal, and she said, why do people, or no, 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 no. Talk about why retail, working in retail sucks, and why do people continue to do that, despite that fact. I haven't worked in retail, but from what I hear, it's not very great based on reports I'm hearing recently. But I think if, if it's anything like what I do, I don't talk about what I do for a living, but when you're working with people, sometimes it's nice. Sometimes you have nice people, but it seems like you get a lot of people who aren't so nice and friendly. And I think that's what, what makes it stink. But the reason why people continue, I don't know, maybe, I think, I think a lot of people continue to work in jobs that they don't really enjoy because it could be, you know, it's hard to get another job afterwards, figuring out what you're going to do, you got to pay your bills. Could be, I don't know, could be a number of reasons. So I'm not sure. But if you're working in retail, and there's something else you'd like to do and you don't like the retail thing it might be cool to apply for something else it'd be cool if you can get it boom got this new job and it's great I don't know could be good could be bad <laughs> next one was what was his name it's been so long since I was in my car memorizing these things I guess I could look it up now but I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to cheat. The next one was Ben L. Yeah, he was saying, he said that he knows I don't talk about what I do for a living, but do I enjoy it or is it something that just pays the bills? So it's something I battle with every day. I don't really enjoy my job. It's It pays well enough for me to live on my own, pay all bills, get everything taken care of and you know get some stuff some fun stuff on the side so that's great but the, the thing that isn't great is that I don't really enjoy it very much and it's a battle for me because I feel like I should enjoy it and I don't and some days are better than others but when I get there even before I get there I'm like I don't want to go here and do this but I think that's just the nature of working and going to a job. You're not your own boss most of the time. You gotta do things that you don't wanna do a lot of times. But I think it helps make us a better person. Um, but at the same time, I think you have to have a balance. You know, you want your job to stretch you, make you uncomfortable to some extent, but you don't wanna be stressed out to a level to where you're like damaging your body so I can't say I'm at that point but like I just said I don't love what I do for a living it's 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 good like I said there's good days there's not so good days but I hope that answers your question last one was this was the sixth one I had to just throw it in there um, oh, Courtney what was it what was it I gotta look this one up. Courtney Dearly. She said, What do you want for Christmas? And I thought that was a great question. Because I want to ask you guys, what do you guys want for Christmas? For me, I, I'm not sure. Like, I'm looking at my wardrobe like for winter and I'm realizing I've had a lot of these clothes for a long time, so I need new clothes. Clothes is the biggest thing. And there's a pair of tennis shoes that I'm looking at. I, I need new tennis shoes. And I don't want to tell you guys what they are un unless I get them. So if I get them, I will tell you, maybe even show you. But they're very special. <laughs> they're very special tennis shoes. <laughs> um, 
Spoiler, if you watched the live stream with my brother, you will know what I'm talking about. Huh, there you go. Okay, um, what else? What else do I want for Christmas? That's mainly it. What do you guys want? What do you guys want for Christmas? It's coming up. Let's talk about it. This is the end. Thank you for joining me on the Tuesday evening drive. We're not driving right now, but we did at one point. So, I hope you guys have a great week. Get ready for some Hermitcraft episodes coming up, and I'll talk to you later.